Connect your interface cradle to your computer and place your logger into the cradle. Check that both the cradle and the logger are facing you. The three contacts on the back of the logger should be touching the three pins inside the cradle. Click on the wizard icon and wait for your device to be detected. Click configure once you see your device. You can add a description for your logger so it's easy to identify when the logger is next connected to Logtag Analyzer. You can also set a password to be entered when your logger is next configured or downloaded. If you set a password, we strongly recommend writing it down as it can't be removed if you forget it later on. Select how you wish to start recording, at a specific date and time, or by pushing the start button. If you enable pre-start logging, the logger will start taking readings as soon as it's configured and before you have actually started the logger. Pre-start logging is a useful feature if you are worried about forgetting to start the logger. Next, select whether you want the logger to stop recording once the memory is full or to overwrite the oldest readings so logging never stops until it's reconfigured or the battery runs low. This is called continuous recording. If you don't want to record readings continuously, enter the number of days your logger will record for before stopping. The number of readings taken is determined by the duration and frequency of your reading. Specify how often you want your logger to take a reading and the maximum number of readings the logger can take will be displayed. Finally, you can enter in a start delay. Adding a start delay helps prevent false alarms by allowing your logger to adjust to the fridge or freezer temperature before recording starts. When configuring your logger, you can enable the green OK and the red alert LED indicators to flash during recording. Enter in temperatures that you wish to trigger an alarm should the logger record a temperature that meets or exceeds the alarm value specified. In this example, the logger will immediately trigger an alarm if the recorded temperature exceeds 8 degrees Celsius or drops below 2 degrees Celsius. If you want to clear the alarm and continue recording, tick the clear and reset option here. Finally, there are additional options available on most loggers. Click on the available tabs and customize the settings to meet your requirements. Once you are ready, click configure and the wizard will configure your logger with your settings. Once the wizard has finished, you can click close if you are done, or you can insert another logger of the same model and click repeat configuration to apply the same settings to the next logger.